We receive every term about 100 applications and we go through that list really carefully uh, because we want to select startups at different stages that pose different problems and that can be a good fit for different types of students. After that, we invite about uh, 15 to 20 each term, and that's more than we can match. So what happens on the first class is that then the students will have to choose. And at that point, they have no excuses because they really chose that project and that startup to, to work on for the next three months. I think it's special when students feel like they're working on something that's live, uh, that hasn't been you know, described or shaped yet. When we work with startups, both the founders and the students just don't know. There's fundamental uncertainty about where is this company gonna be six months from now, 12 months from now. And our students struggle at the beginning with this uncertainty. And then we bring in methods, you know, from qualitative to quantitative methods to digital experiments, all sort of toolkits that can help the students structure that problem and kind of chip it away over three months. But often the students realize that, that the task is much harder than working in a large firm. One of the fun parts of teaching ELAB is really that I get to teach with um, Jim, uh, who's been an entrepreneur all his life and has seen a lot of the things we try to describe. And in that conversation, I think the students learn a lot more uh, than from having either one of us uh, teach that class alone. Part of ELAB is for people to understand, do, do I want to be an entrepreneur? Is this kind of the right choice for me? And it's a fairly low cost way to test that because you're not a founder, you're working with founders. You get the same experience of working along them uh, for three months. The interesting part of ELAB is that often, you know, when students check back in with the startup or check where they're at three or six months later, they often realize that ELAB has shaped the direction uh, of that company. Uh, so it is one of those classes that, both on the student side, but on the founder side too, I think has a big impact.